Okay, I think it's going. Oh, okay. Okay, so back to our legal disclaimer that I am not a doctor and you are not my patients. <laughs> okay. So, how many people have ever experienced bloating, indigestion, reflux, things like that? Yes, I see Janine all the time. That's not digestive health. If you're dealing with any sort of thing other than you put food in and in about 24 hours it comes back out and you don't feel any discomfort in between, then that means that something is going wrong in the process. So, the gut is actually our second brain. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but um, it is understood that when a developing embryo is forming in its mother's womb, the first two systems to develop are actually the intestines and the nervous system. And so when that baby is forming and those two systems split, they started off as one and were tied together. So that's why our gut health is often so tied to you know, even neuro problems and things like that, that our, our gut health can tend to impact a wide range of things. Um, I don't know if any of you have listened to Sarah Harnish, uh, her game plan series. She explains how before she ever even found oils, she uh, struggled with migraines terribly. And um, one of the things that she did was cut out dairy, any grains, so any gluten, things like that, and sugar. And so it just shows how some of these things in our standard American diet or SAD diet can really impact our health. So the path of digestion, it is kind of a swirly process. That's why I picked that graphic. <laughs> so it starts with your saliva. That's the first step in breaking down our food. There are enzymes in our saliva and they help to break down any of those raw nutrients that we're taking in. The next step in the process is it goes down our esophagus, which connects our mouth to our stomach. That's that long tube. And then it goes from the, oh my goodness, sorry, my presentation's acting up. But, uh, hello. Hold that thought. For some reason, we're stuck. Hmm. I apologize. Okay, there we go. All right, so the next uh, step is the stomach, and the ideal pH level for your stomach is a two to a three. So a lot of people don't understand that a lot of times when they have those problems with reflux or different acidity problems, it's also become because their pH level in the stomach is being thrown off as well. It then leads to your pancreas, which will help to re release the digestive enzymes in that digestive process. And then it goes on to your small intestines where microvilli absorb the broken down nutrients. So think of like a shag carpet. That's going to have all of these little follicles that are going to be absorbing nutrients as they pass through the small intestine. And then lastly, we get to the large intestine or the colon, um, and then billions of bacteria will help us to finish absorbing those nutrients. And then that also helps to impact our immune system. So that also shows what we put into our body helps to impact what comes back out. Okay, so this just kind of shows the human microbiome and there are so many different bacteria, fungi, viruses, all sorts of different things that live in our body, and we know that. Um, but it, it just shows where a lot of these things live. So 600 plus species in the mouth, the pharynx, and the respiratory system, a thousand species on the skin, 60 species in the urogenital tract, um, 500 to 1,000 species in the intestines, and then 25 species in the stomach. And so there's a lot of things that are impacting our body systems every day. So we're gonna talk about a few Young Living products to help to support the different systems in our body. So Master Formula is a dual pack. It's got two separate caplets. So one here, it's the, um, I'm trying to remember what it was. 
what the SSI, it was something suspended. It, it was basically a suspended release. It's keeping the ingredients separate before mixing so that they mix in the right way in your body at just the right time. And they put a lot of research into this to make sure that you're getting the most um, from these uh, supplements that Young Living puts out. So even to the time that it's released in your body. So they have a liquid capsule and a powder capsule that are kept separate and you take them separately. And so um, the master formula uh, supplement is a prebiotic. A lot of us have heard of probiotics, but prebiotic is um, the, uh, it helps to neutralize free radicals, but it also helps to kind of prepare your gut flora to receive that nutrition. So it kind of feeds the healthy gut flora. Next, we have Yacon syrup, which also does the, uh, the same. It has a low glycemic index, so that helps with people with, um, who need to watch their, their sugar levels. It has a high concentration of indigestible inulin to support your stomach. Oh, boy. Fructo-oligosaccharides, um, which will pass through the upper digestive tract undigested. That means it can make it to your small intestine without being digested. So you know the stomach is really acidic and it really helps to break down our food. This can now pass through the stomach to help feed that healthy bacteria in our small intestine. And that's kind of important because otherwise a lot of that stuff gets broken down before it ever gets to that healthy bacteria. And that's how imbalances can happen. So Life9 is a probiotic. So we talked about master formula is a prebiotic. Life9 is a probiotic, so this is the second step. So the prebiotic feeds that healthy gut flora. The probiotic helps to create more healthy gut flora. This is rich in those bacteria that help to break down your foods and keep your gut healthy. So it helps with the motility absorption and the ability to digest. If you have all those little critters in there doing their job, you're going to have more healthy digestion. Plus, it is enterically coated, which means it is coated with a specific substance on this gel cap to keep it from breaking down in your stomach. So instead of it getting digested there again in your stomach where all that acid is and killing off a lot of that healthy bacteria that's going to help your gut to flourish, it gets through your stomach and releases in the intestines where it can do the most benefit for your body. And then it has 17 billion active cultures of nine different strains of bacteria. So that's important as well. Okay, so these are some of the supplements we have coming up for digestive health. There are four different, well, four and then one kid supplement, so technically five um, different enzyme supplements for your body for uh, digestive enzymes. So first of all, before we get into the four different kinds for adults, what is an enzyme? Why is it important? Okay, it is a substance that's produced by living organisms to help break down your food. So my family, um, not my immediate family, but my parents and some of my siblings have had a lot of difficulty with their digestive systems. And one of the things they found was that um, they had, they were very low in digestive enzymes. So what happens when you're low in digestive enzymes? Sometimes your food will hit your stomach and just sit there like a brick and you have to go through the process of bringing it back up and getting rid of it because your body couldn't break it down. So especially as we age, our digestive enzymes can become more and more depleted. If you think about our standard American diet, we're eating food that's made in a lab, not grown in the ground. We're eating foods that are high in saturated fats, a lot of things that are bioaccumulative, and things that are very, very hard for our bodies to process. So when we give our stomach that much work, it's no wonder that we end up pounding down that shag carpet, so to speak, that those microvilli that are absorbing all those nutrients and then we end up with this short little Berber carpet that can't absorb those nutrients and we have no little digestive enzymes left to help break down our food and then we kill off all that gut flora. I wonder why we're not feeling so hot after we eat sometimes. So it is responsible for every chemical reaction in your body. 
Why is that important? Well, the things that go in your gut eventually can impact even things like your hormone balance and the different gland systems in your body. Will things be excreted at the right levels? So this is very important because if we don't start with that key gut health and healthy nutrition, then, and they go hand in hand, you can't go and take Life9 and Essentials on and then go eat at Burger King every day. It just doesn't work. You can't give your body zero healthy nutrients and then go and, you know, expect to be healthful. It's, it's not going to happen. Um, this will also allow the cells to build up and break down molecules quickly. So that means that if you have all of those little critters and they're doing their job, then when, instead of sitting there with indigestion because things are mulling over and not processing because you don't have the right building blocks to keep your digestive process functioning, these are instead boosting all of those different processes so that you have those key components for good digestion. And then the other thing that's important about this is if you can't absorb your nutrients and can't break down your food, then it doesn't matter how many supplements you're taking. Lori Gaska on her page just put it so well. She said, you know, sometimes people who've never done a digestive cleanse, for instance, and gotten all that old yuck and all the toxins out of their gut, they're sitting there taking all these supplements, but their supplements are trying to get through 20 pounds of poop. So if you're sitting there and, and there's this layer that's blocking the absorption of all of these supplements, I don't care if you're on 20 Young Living supplements, you may not be getting your best benefit because you don't have good digestive health. So why do we need uh, enzyme assistance and support? Like we just said, the American diet with its preservatives, dyes, chemicals, and processed foods, that's not healthy nutrition. So anybody who's feeling ill, sometimes when you do extreme exercise, temperature extremes even, there are so many different, anytime the body is under stress, it can inhibit your enzyme function. Uh, your enzymes, it's, it's not uh, understood 100%. Um, there are different schools of thought, rather, um, whether or not age impacts your enzyme function. But the way I look at it is this, if you are somebody who has spent the bulk of your life eating the standard American diet, never doing a cleanse, not really supplementing with good pro and prebiotics and digestive enzymes, it's more likely than not that you've caused some damage and your enzyme function can drop with age. So if you're somebody who's always taken care to eat kale salads and <laughs> grilled chicken breast for every meal and you're not eating all of the yuck that a lot of people typically do, you might not have as big an impact on your digestive enzymes as you get older. But most of us aren't perfect in that area either. So I always say it tends to drop with age. Um, surgery and disease processes uh, can uh, inhibit your digestive system. So obviously, if you have issues with your gallbladder, issues with your pancreas, if you've just had surgery to one of those areas, or had your gallbladder removed, or your you know, pancreas operated on, it's not going to be putting your enzymes into your body and helping your digestive process as well, obviously. Um, and then other inflammatory processes in the digestive tract. So I'm not going to name specific diseases and conditions, but all of us probably know someone who suffers with a gastrointestinal illness, and you can see how that impacts their life. Uh, chronic stress. Um, when the body is under stress, um, cortisol is released into the body, and that chemical wreaks havoc on a lot of our body systems. So our digestive enzymes are just one victim to a, a lot of the, the issues with stress. So good stress management can actually do a lot for your digestive system. And then another thing is low stomach acid. A lot of people are on um, acid preventatives um, for their stomach instead of dealing with the overall problem of why is their stomach too acidic? Why is there an imbalance? Instead of fixing the things lower on in their gut, like the probiotics, prebiotics, um, the digestive enzymes, they just go straight to, well, I have too much acid. So this is more getting into the, why do I have that problem? And then, um, so, okay, that's another thing. A lot of times 
people will have un, what seems like an unrelated problem. So you might end up with a skin rash or some breakout of some kind, mood swings, headaches, um, all sorts of different things that end up making you not feel your best. Even simple things like fatigue. You may have slept eight hours and still feel like you have not slept at all. And a lot of that can go back to your nutrition and your gut health. And then um, the microbiome, it, it, it will actually affect your emotions. So do you feel anxious? Do you feel depressed? Do you feel, and I'm not talking about clinical depression. I'm not talking about any of these things. That is between you and your doctor. But um, it, it will impact your emotions as well when you are not taking care of your digestive health. So, ta-da! This is the missing piece in our digestive health. So fight or flight versus rest and digest. So this is just basically going through and showing um, your sympathetic system, which dilates your pupils, it uh, inhibits salivation, relaxes your bronchi, accelerates your heartbeat, inhibits uh, peristalsis and secretion. So peristalsis is the movement of food through your gut. Um, stimulates glucose production and release. So um, it's just showing how when you are under stress or you, it, you basically get scared by something or you feel like you need to react, it actually releases certain processes in your digestive system. And so you can imagine someone who's constantly feeling anxious or is in that fight or flight response, how that's going to ultimately affect their gut health. And it, it shows why. Um, and let's see, so we're going to get into some things that can start helping our digestive systems. Digize comes in everyone's starter kit. So most of you, I believe, started with the essential oil starter kit. Digize came in that kit. It has a lot of powerful oils for digestion. And, um, that, so this is one, I would say one of the easiest ways to use it is to just put a drop over your belly. Some people don't really care for the smell of digize, so you can take a drop with a little bit of carrier oil and rub it on the bottoms of your feet. And typically within about five minutes, you should feel the effects as well. You also can take digize vitality in a, a glass of water if you don't mind. Some people don't really love the taste of fennel and you know some of these other stronger oils, so that's just a personal preference. But um, I don't think I talked about all that. Oh, and another thing, Young Living also has veggie capsules. Uh, I just ordered some. I think it was like 150 or 200 of them. It was quite a few uh, for like seven bucks. So if you wanted to take a digest supplement, you can make your own. Just put you know, a few drops of oil in the supplement, close up a little capsule, take it like a pill. And uh, that's another way to get them into your system as well. And then, oh, and another thing, if you don't love the flavor of Digize, you could throw in a drop of peppermint and that will mask some of the, the flavor as well. Let's see. All right, so Essential Zymes 4 is actually a dual dose blister pack. So there's two pills that you're gonna take with your largest meal. It says twice daily. If you've never taken Essential Zymes 4 before, I recommend starting slow because what's it gonna do? It's gonna help you process your food. When we process our food, what happens? We poop. So if you go and start really processing your food really fast, it's totally possible to end up in the bathroom a lot more than you intended. So um, if you've never used any sort of digestive enzyme before, start with about half the dose they say to start with. If it's just one pill, you could probably start with the one pill and then see how your body responds, maybe take it every other day, for instance. Just start slow and go on as you feel comfortable because your body's going to tell you what it needs. Um, this is both animal and plant-based. There's going to be a couple that are vegan options as well, but this one is not. I believe it has bovine and porcine in it, so beef and pork. So the dual time release allows it to be released in different parts of the digestive tract. So we already talked about being enterically coated so that it gets down into the intestines. Well, this one works in two different ways. It has some enzymes to help break things down in your stomach, but then it has a separate blister pack that will help it to release in your intestines as well. So you actually, this is for, that's why if you eat a really big meal, 
this is the one you want to go with. If you have that kind of a, ooh, I'm not breaking this down very well, essential signs four is the, I overdid it, let's undo it kind of um, uh, digestive enzyme. Um, it is plant-based for the stomach, so that means all of the derivatives for the enzymes are going to come from plants for the stomach, but then the uh, animal-based um, properties or, or digestive enzymes are going to go to the intestines. So the immediate release capsule, so this is going to be the plant-based one, is the yellow cap. So it's, we're going to talk real quick about the different enzymes that are in it. So protease breaks down proteins. Papain breaks down protein, and it's derived from papaya. Um, peptidase breaks down small peptide proteins uh, and amino acids. Amylase, um, that's the same uh, enzyme that is formed in your saliva, which breaks down carbohydrates, starches, and sugars. Phytase breaks down seeds and grains. Cellulase breaks down plants. Lipase breaks down fats. And then the essential oils in this capsule are anise, ginger, rosemary, tarragon, and fennel. A, one reason why Young Living typically adds essential oils to their product is it helps to increase absorption and drive those components into the system better and allow them to be absorbed better. Most um, other companies do not put essential oils in their products, and therefore Young Living products tend to be a little bit more effective for that reason. Okay, so the white capsule, this is the one that is derivative of animal proteins and it is delayed release. So this will release into the intestines. So it's got pancreatin, which is a combination of three enzy enzymes, that, bleh, enzymes, the amylase, lipase, and protease. And then lipase is a lipid-based one. It'll break down your fats. Now, if someone is allergic to bees, or bee stings. You might want to be careful with this because there is bee pollen powder in this, but that does really boost the immune system. And so it comes from pollen collected from, different, from the bees that go and pollinate different flowers, but it also helps with, um, it gives you a lot of good vitamins, minerals, proteins, lipids, fatty acids, and enzymes. All right. And then the essential oils here are anise, ginger, lemongrass, tarragon, and fennel. If y'all don't have the reference guide, I highly, highly suggest that you get it. It's about $45 on Amazon. It's um, the seventh generation, and it's from Life Science Publishing. I love it, and it tells you all you could ever want to know about every supplement, about every oil, but if you ever have a question about oils, that's a good resource. Another good resource about what each oil does is from trying to think of the maker of it. Um, I have it on my head. But it's, uh, it's about $7, and it's a one-time purchase. Oh, it's by Abundant Health. That's who does it. And it's reference guide for essential oils, and it's got three little leaves with like a little purple rainbow-looking thing going over it. But both of those are really good for looking up specifically what essential oils do, like which essential oils do what. Um, essential zyme. Now this is going to be the one that you take either at night and then let it work overnight or you take first thing in the morning and let it work all day. This is going to be delayed release and it's going to just kind of give you enzyme support throughout your entire day. And some people take a combination of essential zyme for an essential zyme. It just depends on the person. So um, this one is coated in HPMC, which helps it to stay intact in the stomach until it reaches the intestines. So again, this is trying to get those enzymes into the intestines where they can help break down your food the most. The pancreas ideally secretes about a liter and a half of enzymes into the duodenum daily. So the way your stomach works, the stomach looks like a little bag, and then there's a little loop that looks like a C called the duodenum, and that's where all those enzymes shoot through after it's made it through the stomach, that some people who have lost some of that enzyme production, they may not be secreting as much as they should be. So there's pancreolipase, a combination of three enzymes, lipase, protease, and amylase. Pancreatin, which is a combination of three enzymes, amylase, lipase, and protease. Trypsin, which is in pancreatic juice, which helps to break down proteins. Bromelain, which is a natural enzyme that comes from the stem of the pineapple. 
uh, papain, also for protein breakdown, betaine HCL, which helps to increase stomach acid. So we said that the stomach, the acidic environment in the stomach should be a two to a three. This will help to keep that at that right level of acidity. And then, oops, I keep getting off of my, oops, there we go. Okay, so we have thyme leaf powder, which is, um, it's going to help to just kind of keep the stomach regulated at the way it's supposed to be. Carrot powder, which will assist with natural enzyme stimulation of the gallbladder. Um, there we go. Alfalfa sprout powder, which is rich in amino acids, vitamins, and minerals. Alfalfa leaf powder, which um, it, it helps to maintain healthy cholesterol levels. It also gives you rich amino acids, vitamins, and minerals. And then cumin seed powder, which contains thymol, which will help to stimulate the glands that sec secrete acids, bile, and enzymes. And then it has the essential oils of anise, fennel, peppermint, tarragon, and clove. All right, so we've got detoxime, which uh, this one I want to say was one of our, yes, it, it is a vegetarian, not vegan, but it's vegetarian uh, complex. complex. So we've got the amylase, the invertase, which breaks down sugars, uh, protease 4.5, uh, which breaks down protein, uh, glucoamylase, which breaks down the long chain starches and carbohydrates, phytase, lipase, we've gone through a lot of these before, I'm not going to read them over again, because y'all can read. <laughs> and then we've got allerzyme, which is also vegetarian, and... So this will break down starches, but, and that's, again, from your saliva. Bromelain, we've gone through a lot of these. Peptidase, okay, protease, invertase, phytase. So you can see that whether you're a vegetarian or whether you eat meat, they have a product for you so that you don't have to miss out on the digestive enzyme process and, and being able to supplement that for your body. So this is the digestive enzymes for kids. We have Mightyzyme. And Mightyzyme is, uh, I, I would say, it says up here ages two to six. Start very slow with kids because their systems are very, I mean, they're tiny. And so it's, it's one of those things I would say um, maybe do about half the recommended dose to start with a kiddo and then kind of go from there. Uh, it says one tablet three times daily with meals. I wouldn't do that to start. I would do maybe one per day, build up to two if you think your kiddo still needs it, and then kind of go from there. Because you can always add more, but you can't take it away if you rushed it. So that's, that's kind of my coaching for that. Um, let's see. So then it has in it lipase for the fat, protease 4.5 to break down protein, amylase to break down starch, protease 6.0. And you'll notice they have different numer, like they even did the research of which type of protease should they put in these different, and each one of them serves a different function. So, um, but it has all sorts of different enzymes as well. So you can see here, there's three different proteases. And then the cellulase to break down plants. And then the essential oil in the Mighty Zyme for the kids, they just use peppermint. And I know that we wanna be a little more reserved in how much oil that we're giving to the kids because their systems, like we said, are smaller. So this is just a great little chart to show you what the digestive enzyme is, what it breaks down, and then which of the enzyme supplements has it in it. So we'll, let, we'll just leave this up and y'all can kind of take a look real quick, but you can see each one has plenty of enzymes in it and you can kind of see after you've done your own research for your body, which one you think you need the best. Okay, so I always end with a quote. The stomach is a slave that must accept everything that is given to it but which avenges wrongs as slyly as does the slave. So if you do not take care of your gut, <laughs> sometimes it can get even with you, and we've all had that happen. So really quick, let me close this out.
There we go. And I'm going to unmute all of you lovely people. Can I pause it? All right. So does anyone have any questions so far? How much commercial time? How much commercial time? <laughs> I told my husband to pause it. Oh. Chris' husband. <laughs> Chris, what's your question? Yeah, this was commercial free. You didn't even have to uh, listen to like an ad for Sprint or anything. <laughs> He's trying to watch TV and I'm trying to listen. I gotcha, I gotcha. I'm going to go ahead and 